Hello fellow guitar and bass geeks. This is the Katana Bass, the 210 version, the bigger brother one. The other one is 60 watts and it's smaller and it's got one speaker. This is 160 watts, got two 10 inch speakers and it is freaking loud. That is on a quarter volume, and it is so loud next to me, it's making the acoustic guitars in the room sing. In this video, I am nowhere near gonna cover all the features of the amp, or indeed all of the sounds, but I am gonna have some fun with the bass. Uh, the classic vibe, by the way, Squire, so new that it's got the little um, protective things on the tuners. Uh, nice bass, I'm really enjoying it. 418 euros, by the way. This one is about 600 euros. It's got builds and effects just like the Katana guitar. It's got drive, it's got a Bluetooth and a DI out and all that sort of stuff. I'm in Klangfarbe in Vienna, the greatest music shop in Vienna that invites me here to make videos. If you've seen my channel before, if you've been here before, hello, welcome back. And you'll know that I am a big fan of the Katana. I've got loads of Katana videos, but this is my first Katana bass video. and. I'll get down to playing some stuff. I am predominantly a guitar player, but I do enjoy some low, long guitar as well. I've got it mic'd up with the SEV kick, and I'm also DI'ing as well, so I'll switch between those two uh, in this video. Let's hear it just as it is with everything flat, and I'm on the max mode. <laughs> Sounds like a bass amp, sounds thumpy, sounds big. Let's put some drive on because I think it needs a little bit of, which one's that? That's the compressor, there's the drive. All right, let's give it a bit of throatiness. Too much driver in my opinion. Um, let's put a bit of compressor on. All right, the, the sound is full, it's fat. There seems to be lots of bass on there. Let's turn that bass down a little bit. Let's bring the, we've got low mids and high mids. So let's take the low mids and high mids up a little bit and the treble. Um, and you, oh, you can turn the tweeter off. Hang on. Let's do that with the tweeter off. Super, super cool. Um, that was with the green drive on. Let's try the red drive. That's the red drive. Let's try it with the yellow drive. Okay, so the yellow drive seems to be thinner. Um, I've only got like a little touch of crunch on there. It's only like a quarter. So I feel if I crank it up, it's gonna be far too much. It's hissing. Yeah. 
There is more drive on that than any bass player needs, I think. I'm also compressing the heck out of it. It's got a lot of compression on there. Um, let's see if that makes a difference. So I'll turn the compression down now. It squeals. I made a bass amp squeal. I've never done that before. Okay, let's, um, the bass is it's so, so loud. If you're worrying about if the Katana bass uh, 210 is loud enough with a drummer, it absolutely is. I'm on quarter volume. It's on the max setting, but it is so, so loud. It's filling the room. It is making the acoustic guitar sing. It's doing all the things you need it to do. I can't connect it with my mobile phone at the moment, even though I've been trying to for the past 25 minutes, because it doesn't come with a Bluetooth module in it. So it has an app, but if you want to activate that app, you now have to, rather than with the guitar versions of the Katana, which I, I can't believe you have to call them now Guitar Katana, Katana, whichever one it is. Katana, Bass Katana. That's how it's called from now on, okay? Deal. Right, so the bass katana doesn't come with a Bluetooth built in. You have to buy the external module, which I think is about 40 euros, I think. Which puts another 40 euros on top, so that's 640-ish. It's a bit cheeky, but I see that if people don't need the Bluetooth, then Boss can keep the price down. Debate on whether that's a good idea in the comment section, please. But I, the point is I spent a good amount of my time today trying to connect with Bluetooth and didn't work because it doesn't come with a Bluetooth module. It does come with lots of effects. Let's try some effects. Uh, in fact, no, let's try and get some clean tone first. Um, So bassy as well. I just turned the tweeter on, so I guess that's for. Um, it's, it's certainly a lot clearer with the tweeter on. Uh, we need some obligatory uh, pop and slap. That is how a guitar player plays bass. Um, yeah, let's go for effects. So effects, I, I'm gonna randomly put the effects on because I, I can't tell you what they are because I can't connect with my telephone. Some kind of wobbly thing. Let's try another one. Um, let's try red on that and green on that. I don't think, I don't think bass needs this many effects. I really, I don't, I don't know if it does. It's nice to have it. I think that this amp, from playing with it, uh, and I played it for a while when I was trying to get the Bluetooth stuff going, I think it has a good bass, as in foundation tone. You can add some crunchiness to it, but the crunch seems to come on too soon. So there's crunch off. Uh, Turn those effects off so you can hear it. My 
point is, the crunch, did you hear the crunch turn on and then it's already super crunchy? Maybe, maybe you can turn that down in the, the tone studio thing with the, with the phone, but I can't do it because I don't have the Bluetooth module. Yeah, so far, um, I'm enjoying it. I can't access most of the features because I can't connect to it. I could connect it to my laptop and do the, the USB thing there, but that would require me to do that and, and you don't want to watch that. So this is just an overview by a guitar player. Um, the blend, I have no idea what that does. What does that do? That's making all the guitars sing. So whatever that blend does, it, it makes guitars, acoustic guitars just go nuts. Don't touch the blend knob, Andy. Okay, um, we've got the one watt mode. Let's put it on that. It does that. It's still making the guitar sing. It has so much bass on tap that I think it's too much. Boss, what you've done is you've taken a katana and you've added bass, but you've added too much bass. And now there's too much bass on the katana bass. So I've had to turn the bass down to about a quarter, which is unusual. I don't know. I'm certainly not a bass amp expert, but that's a lot of bass. So if you're looking for thick bass, Try the Katana bass. Let's try it without any bass whatsoever. Let's turn the... the hang on, that, that was... That was with less than a quarter bass. This is insane. Okay, this is the EQ set at 12. Now, Max... Makes the acoustic guitar sing. So, if you want acoustic guitars to sing whilst you're playing bass, get a Katana 210. I don't know if this has been a good video if you're after sound samples, but I will say that if you wanted to know if it's loud enough for a band, it really, really is. 160 watts doesn't seem a lot, but it's class AB. And when we say class AB, it's closer to amp, uh, tube amp technology than it is what most bass amps are, which is class D technology, and therefore, more uh, digital home cinema power amp kind of thing. Really, really digging myself in a hole with these terminologies, so please don't flame me too much. But what I mean is, this is AB, analog, uh, amp thingy, input section. Try, just like the Katana guitar, which I can't believe we have to now call the Katana guitar, Katana guitar. Can we agree that the Katana guitar is called the Katana, and this is Katana bass? Boss, if you start marketing Katana Guitar as Katana Guitar, we're going to have a problem. I'm going to lose, lose my ability to, to speak. All right, um, yes, it's loud enough for a band. It's got loads of effects, more than I think you need. It's got a good sound. It's got a drive that kicks in a little bit too soon, I think. Hopefully you can adjust that on the Tone Studio. I don't know. Um, and as a guitar player, it's more than I need. Absolutely, certainly more than I need. So, if you're a bass player, hello, uh, welcome. Uh, stick around, I might do some more bass content because I, I might have to pick one of these up at some point. And it looks like a katana. All right, um, thank you for watching. Thank you to Klangfarber for letting me into their custom shop room and messing around with a bass amp and this Squire guitar, bass guitar. If you want more from me, then, um, oh, this is the end of the video. You made it to the end of the video club. And um, if you made it this far, you have to prove that by leaving a comment down below, including the following phrase. There's a katana bass, question mark? You don't have to write the question mark, you can just put a question mark. That's it. I will, um, I will see you very soon, I hope. Maybe in one of these videos, or maybe if you subscribe with the button down there, then you can watch more from me at any time in your own pleasure. I will see you uh, at some point in the guitar and bass future. Keep the guitar, keep it geeky. See you soon. Bye-bye.